guys, that was for today. I was 11.2 beta 3 is released to developers today. 137 megabytes. The build number is 15C5107A right here. I have to hold up my tripod today because it will fall over. I let go of it. So first one is the classroom map no longer needs to be configured when using it. This one was in the previous beta. I forgot to mention it. But now you can now create your own class right here without having to configure online and all that. Now it's all free. Which is really cool. Next one is detect on the white wallpaper flashes. Let me zoom in here. Look right below Swift Playgrounds when I let go of the Kid Center. Hard to see it. You see that? It flashed. I'll do it again. You saw that when I let go of the Kid Center, the text right here flashes. Really weird. Next one is the text in iBooks is smaller and thinner. So this one I cannot show you. I don't have a book that's brand new. Now let me sh let me go back to here. And like when you download a new book, the text where it says "new" up above here is a lot smaller now. Really cool. I don't have I can't show you because I'm using my success to record. Next one, the, the start time, the start button timer now gets m more darker when you set to zero zero zero. It does see it goes uh, it gets way way darker than it used to be. Really cool. Next one is the te text and notification center is bolder. If you look at notification center, this is older notifications. So really interesting. And the, the, the new text when moving notes. So when you hit edit, it'll give you this. Which basically says here that select notes select notes to later move. Then this in the previous bit that I forgot to mention it. And one last one I forgot to mention in this video, which I, f I skipped the I skipped the feature. You can quickly lock a device again like this. You can quickly lock it again like in the previous beta. You couldn't do that. Really cool. Now you can. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It's my video. Peace.